Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from the Tree and Vine Expo in Turlock, where nearly a thousand growers met after a successful harvest. Through several educational seminars, they were able to earn PCA and CEU credits and learn about the latest industry research. UC Cooperative Extension Specialist Kathy Kelly Anderson addressed walnut growers on controlling Botrysferia and Phomopsis in the orchard. These are fungi that are infecting walnut trees. They've been around actually for a long time, but we're just uh, researching them actually now for just about two years. So it's new to walnut growers, uh, but it's a disease that pistachio growers are very familiar with because they've had a lot of devastating losses in that injury, in that industry from this, uh, these fungi. So what we're trying to do is to get the word out on what growers need to do. And uh, I had some you know, slides about recognizing the symptoms. So farm advisors can help with that. There's stuff online, like under the IPM website, you, you know, www.ipm.ucdavis.edu that should be able to help. And of course your farm advisor or your PCA can help you identify it. And what this fungus does, it does a lot of things. It can affect the fruit or the nut. It can affect the stem of the nut. It can infect the spur and it can infect entire branches. It can infect through blight infections. Uh, they don't look the same, but they can also infect through that. It can infect through a lot of natural openings, like when the leaves fall off, you have a natural opening, a nice place for it. All kinds of, any kind of wound or natural scar on the plant, and in most cases it's, it's a natural kind of a thing. So what we're recommending, uh, what growers see is a lot of dieback in their orchards. That's the most common symptom. You can also have occasionally fresh fruit or nut injury, but that's only happened a couple times. Fortunately, I have a feeling we'll be seeing more of that. So some of the things they can do are like cultural controls, like pruning out the dead wood. Uh, there's also a number of um, effective fungicides and there's research trial going on right now to find out what's effective against the different kind of tissues that can get infected. But there's a lot of fungicides listed and their PCAs would know uh, what's effective and what's not. Uh, so cutting them out and um, spraying them right now is about the best thing we've got. Another thing is with the prunings, uh, we know in pistachio that when you shred the prunings, they can be releasing spores for a, a year and a half, even shredded. We don't know the time frame in walnut, but uh, we're recommending that to get that wood out and, and basically burn it. So kind of a sanitation with the wood removal and the, and the pruning removal as well as the chemical um, methods of control. Thank you, Kathy. Learn more about controlling these fungi by reading Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. Also, watch other reports from seminars at the Tree and Vine Expo at PacificNutProducer.com. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.